Hey everyone, so tonight I'm going to be chatting to Laurie, um, who is one of the queens um, from the Bliss cast of Six. I'm not even going to introduce Six, uh, it's um, taken now the world um, by storm. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to be chatting to Laurie just about Six and about her experience aboard um, Bliss and the cast of Six, etc. Um, I absolutely um, adore Six. I saw Six the first time and it was up in Edinburgh, so I saw it really early days. And I've been lucky enough to see it when it was in London as well, um, at the Arts Theatre. I did have tickets booked for um, the current tour. Obviously that has been postponed, but it is still going ahead. I'm going to the Churchill Theatre, it's now next year. Um, but yeah, still really excited by that. I've just, I've told just so many of my friends about Six as well um, and getting people to like, come along, see it. Um, so yeah, mega excited to be chatting to one of the queens. Um, I personally think it just has such a good message um, for those women that um, just need this like massive girl power story. For those that haven't seen Six, it concert um rather than sort of strict musical theatre um but with like a girl power message um so yeah absolutely love it and laurie i think is about to join us bear with me let's see if this works i'm, always, I'm never sure if this works love technology let's see hey. Hey. hey how are you i'm good thank you how are you doing not too bad not too bad surviving in lockdown <laughs> Oh, as much as we can. Yeah. So, how are you? Have you been? I'm all right. I'm just plodding along, trying to trying to keep myself busy and creative. But um, it's a bit it's a bit manic, really, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah. How about you? Surviving. Yeah. Surviving. Yeah. I mean, it's been good. It's given me a chance to kind of chat to people like yourself online and things like that, which I probably, to be honest, don't normally get the chance to do. Um, just because I'm normally so busy going to the theatre rather than talking to people that are making theatre. So, I guess every cloud and all that. Um, I was chatting, yeah, I was chatting to someone. Um, Zoe doing a live with her the other day and kind of saying that potentially one of the things I hope comes out of this is all these people that can experience theatre at home um, will actually then be able to hopefully come into the theatre and experience it for the first time, fingers crossed. So, yeah, fingers crossed. So, yeah, six, exciting. Love six, huge hey. six fan. <laughs> um, as I'm sure most of the people are that are watching. Um, so, yeah, just tell me a bit about it a bit about bliss in particular and how it differs um yeah so how did it all start i guess let's kick off with how it started how it began um <laughs> so it sort of obviously begins with the the audition process um which was an incredible process it's like one of the best audition processes that i've ever, ever sort of um so I had, um, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's very intense. There's a lot of rounds and they're like, you know, like you see on, um, on the TV where it's like, you cut, you cut, it's like that. Um, and you're just like praying to get through to the next round. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we started with like a dance round um, and then they, I think they did a cut then. And then we learned some more dance um, because it's actually, what was really interesting is I remember when I went to see the show and um, I came out of it and thought oh my like it's incredible like and it to me it seemed like a really vocally heavy show I yeah. didn't think that they did much dancing um until you learn the dances in the audition and you start learning all the dances you realize just how dancey it is um so, so that was a bit of a shock um yeah but I mean the choreography is just unbelievable and I think it's it's because the girls make it look so effortless yeah. as well as how, like, in sync it is you don't quite realize how dancey it is um and each number what's really great is each number has a really different style um so we got to like play around with different styles um and it was very much about being empowered um and really like selling your set, like really owning yeah. who you are. They're, they're so supportive um, in both the audition room as well as the rehearsal room. Um, and they make, they literally do, they help 
make you feel like a queen. <laughs> that makes sense, so yeah. they really, they really, really focus on individuality and like being yourself, um, which is something that I really admired because I think a lot of times you can go into the audition room and you think I've got to be this, I've got to be that, I've got to do this, do this to tick boxes for people. Yeah, um, as where especially with Pearson's or who cast six, um, James and Rosie Pearson, who are just the best. Um, they're so lovely and they really help to sort of like bring out who you are in the room. Okay. So yeah, um, and they also in the audition, first time this has happened is you sing in front of everyone. Yeah. So you actually, rather than, I mean, you do do sort of like single um, auditions, vocal auditions with the creatives, with mm -hmm. the cast and directors, but then sort of later on in the process of the auditions, you will be like a big group and you kind of workshop okay. together um where you'll workshop scenes and bits of the song um and it's yeah it's really it's really exciting and you create this like girl power atmosphere in the room so everyone's really supporting each other and that really really for me like kept through uh, all the way to the rehearsal process as well um again it was it was so empowering um and it was really like individual like they focus on what you bring to mm -hmm. them, you know um because everyone's different and everyone's going to have different takes on how to do how to do things and stuff um and they absolutely love bringing yourself to the characters and bringing who you are so did you go in with kind of having seen it like an idea of which kind of queen you preferred or like how did you kind of approach it in terms of like the casting um so when i originally went in i didn't i, I think i was just like i just want to be in the show <laughs> anything anyone i'll be on the guitar in the back <laughs> play guitar but i'll learn um, but i sort of like i i think i went into it quite open-minded um i actually originally was seen for seymour okay um obviously so she's quite quite like the the, the ballad you know the, yes. um, the mum of the group Seymour they call her um which was really really fun and interesting and then because I'm a bit of a like a goof a bit of a goofball um I think they sort of brought out some like my goofy funny side um and that was when after that they then asked me to come back to do Cleves okay. and Arrigan so they they ended up being the two queens that I focused mainly on actually um and then when I came to be a swing I covered Cleves, Aragon and Howard and it was actually Howard that I eventually went on for. <laughs> Amazing so after auditions like what happened next? After auditions, um, because it's a it's a cruise job, obviously there's a massive process um, to get onto a cruise ship. Uh, you have to undergo like a medical. You need to make sure you pass a full medical, uh, which can be quite daunting. Get lots of uh, the old jabs and stuff, um, and then you also you need to get lots of visas because we rehearsed in um, we, well, we rehearsed in Tampa, in Tampa in Florida. Nice. Um, yeah, and they have amazing apartments there and great studios, um, MCL do, so that's great. Um, so yeah, so then there was the process of sort of getting everything ready to join rehearsals really um and it is it's it's quite scary we had to do like immigration and stuff like that um but yeah once once you're all set to go and you've got the, the you know the tick and panda, and Jason, panda express yes panda time for i've got panda express, <laughs> the best thing ever <laughs> um so yeah so then they flew us out and we began our we had four weeks of rehearsals in Tampa, okay. so yeah, we began the rehearsal process. And you were kind of rehearsing like a swing track throughout. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the four weeks, there were actually four four of us who were swings, um, and it was basically obviously they have like the main queen sort of like in the centre, learning all the, the the stuff with the creatives, um, and then we would be at the side trying to learn all three of our tracks <laughs> but we um we focused on one queen for the first two weeks um and my first queen was 
was arrogant. Um, and then we had another week on another queen and then another week on another queen, basically. Okay. Um, but what was really, really nice is the first week of rehearsals was sort of like, you know, like an introduction. Yeah. Um, sort of really lo lots of activities and group exercises and games to get to know each other and to just have some fun and start to build our our um our queens really yeah um, and we play so yes yeah, so we play some awesome awesome games we had lucy lucy was actually there for that for our first Amazing. Week. lucy is one of the writers um so yeah it was it was so great to work with her and we really got to develop that like pop queen that you yeah know, kind of be on the stage um one of the really fun exercises that we did was they put music on and we had to walk in our these we had to rehearse in our um, high heels, by the way, that are like this size. So your feet at the end of the day. Um, but we had to walk from one side of the room over to the next side of the room um, in our heels in slow motion, like we were Beyonce. Um, and so just oozing, you know, every, and every, we had to imagine that every single part of our body was just like, covered in diamonds it was just fabulous <laughs> <laughs> i've got six um, fans at home now like trying that out yeah. with the heels on strutting across the living room <laughs> like you covered in dark yeah it was so it's you think you think it's gonna be really strange but it was actually um you sort of can't you're like it's really empowering you're like oh i feel a bit like a pop star now <laughs> <laughs> and how was it trying to learn like all three tracks like i've got so much respect for swings like i don't know how you do it uh, on honest, honestly, it was, it was, it was hard. Um, I can't, I can't lie. It was very, very hard. It was a challenge. Um, but I think, I think what's what is so great about at least with six is that because the characters are so different, that you can sort of, you know, really focus on the different qualities. Um, of each character. The only thing that just for me became really confusing was like blocking and choreography. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like a lot of the time it would be the same choreography, but Aragon will do it with this arm and Howard will do it on this arm and they're in different spacing and different counts. Yeah. Um, and then the harmonies as well. So learning a song like three times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about the harmonies. Yeah, yeah. So like all the different, um, the, the harmonies, the positions, I think. And I also found as well, like sometimes you just start saying other people's lines. Because you just, so you'd be in for arrogant and I'd start saying Howard. And I'd be like, eh? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> One second. Um, but it's kind of, like it was scary at first and like we did stress a lot you know we'd, we we'd go home and um but I say home back to the the flats that we were sharing um and it'd be like every night banging everything out trying to learn everything and it was intense for quite a little while mm. um, eventually it kind of you think it's not but it does sit if you know yeah. what I mean it eventually starts to come together and you're like ah and once you once you've sort of got it um, and something that the creatives say is that once you've sort of got the show down, even just as one queen, and you started looking at other queens, it then becomes so much easier to slot into the others. And yeah. it does, like, I feel like once you've solidified one or two, then it starts making it easier to do any. <laughs> yeah. Was there a particular bit or a particular song that you found kind of easier than a particular bit that you found, like, harder? Or were you, was it all up? I say the easiest bit is um, Seymour's song because you sit on the stage. And watch <laughs> have it. a little break. <laughs> yeah, have a little break, have a little breather, sing some moves. Um, the hardest one for me was, was two, was Holbein, House of Holbein was, it's just very like specific. Yeah. And, and feet and it feels a bit disjointed. Like it's so fun. Um, but yeah, so that was quite hard to pick up. And also, um, don't lose your head the chorus because your your feet your shoulders and your head are all going at different times <laughs> and I remember the whole life. like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so that took a little while to um to get to grips with but again once you get there 
it's that's it it's in your body so just got to persevere yeah so then what happened after rehearsals for you so after rehearsals actually um i left the process um i'd learned i'd learned all the the tracks and stuff like that and the girls had joined the ship um and then it was oh i can't even how many how long would it have been after i can't remember but i got a phone call saying hi Laurie, like Laurie, this is on the agent um they need you to join the ship um as and i ended up going over to cover howard and being alternate howard so yeah it was a bit crazy <laughs> did you have much like time from like getting the call to like get it back into your brain yeah luckily um i did because they were sort of like they were still arranging you know how how it was gonna happen logistically i suppose how to like slot me at like when to fly me out um and they also needed to send because they ended up fitting me into Bryony's um swing cow costume so they i think they drove Bryony's costume from the ship to tampa and then they flew me to tampa for i was there for five days um and we did like the fitting and I was in the apartment by myself and I literally just spent the five days oh my gosh. <laughs> going over everything, like re, um, re-jogging, I suppose, re- re-jogging my mind. Yeah. Um, you think, oh, it's still in there, but you do need to, I did need to sort of like go over everything. Um, and I just, for me, I wanted to make it as easy as possible for like the, um, all of the creators on board, just as well as them stressing. So I, I just thought, as long as if I can go in knowing as much as I can, yeah, then um, then yeah, it'll make it easier for them. So amazing. Yeah. So what was it like when you finally got on board? Oh, um, mental, um, sort of straight in. And the problem when you first get, I've done one ship before. When you first get on onto a ship, they you have to do a lot of training, and they're always really early in the morning. Oh. You know. <laughs> really early when you're like and straight after you'll have like you know rehearsals or something um so yeah there was a lot of sort of trying to do all this training as well as you know sort of rehearsing yeah when I first got on what we did was so Natalie who was also a swing but she was also dance captain and show captain I mate she's amazing and our MD um Alex they were the ones that sort of like you know, took me by the hand and um, guided me through. And we had individual sessions with them. So I'd go over the singing with Alex and the dance um, and acting with Natalie. Um, then we had some sort of, you know, group readings together with the girls, just sitting reading the script through and singing the songs through together, sort of finding our blend. Because obviously it's a new voice. Yeah. Um, so making sure that we, we sort of, you know, blended all together. And and then yeah, then we got into sort of just running it. Uh, we we called them crew bar runs because we couldn't always have the stage. But, um, we also had Jersey Boys on Norwegian Bliss as well as other shows. So we did I think two crew bar runs um, together, and then I had one run on just one run through on the stage uh, in my costume, and then I went on. <laughs> so it was a bit crazy. But, uh, worth it. Yeah, and went well for first night. Adrenaline. Oh, like I think I I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it. Honestly, the adrenaline. Like I don't know if, if you've if you've seen the show. If for anyone that hasn't, at the very very beginning, no spoilers ish a little bit. But the queens sort of like walk out in smoke, um, and there's a little gap in the cu- curtain, and it's that big dramatic music before divorce. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and my heart like just walking down those stairs and uh, it was uh, it was honestly nothing like I've ever experienced you literally feel like you're in a pop concert <laughs> <laughs> and you're like the lights are on we're like a girl band um but it's it's oh there was like no experience like it I've never I've never done a show that gives you that much um adrenaline and mm. excitement you come off stage after it and like my makeup was like gone <laughs> <laughs> you sweated that much it's such a full-on show um yeah like it was like it was like running a marathon I didn't quite expect it to be 
so heightened with energy and require so much um, stamina. And how many performances were there a week on board? So on board, luckily, which is quite nice, um, you only do, so it's two nights, um, but two shows per night. So say okay. four shows per cruise. And that also, like, so say if you were doing a two-week cruise, um, you still would only do four shows. If you're doing a week cruise, you'd still only do uh, four shows. Because you have the other um, productions we have, right. like Bears and Boys and Prohibition, um, and then guest performers. Um, so, yeah. I bet you knew Jersey Boys pretty well by the end as well. <laughs> yeah. It was very much like an entertainment family. Like, I, I actually... I... When I was in Tampa, the Jersey boys were finishing up their rehearsals. So I kind of like joined in with them. So I wasn't like this. Yeah. Like, no <laughs> um, so luckily, yeah. And girls, it was, yeah, it was really, really lovely. Oh, amazing. And so how long were you like on board for? I ended up being on board for almost two months, I want to say. It was almost two months. Um, and then straight after, um, some of us stayed and we flew to Disneyland, Florida. Um, and we did a short performance in Disney as well. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, for six. So that was fun as well. Amazing. Um, and do you, how, like, how do you find it now? Like the fandom is like massive and I love that it's a lot of like young women um that are kind yeah. of yeah loving the show um how have you kind of found I guess experience now I guess while you're on board it's probably harder to like you're a bit separated from everything and now you're home you're like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah it, oh like I've, it's just it's so nice um to just it's just such a support network and it I feel like it's so genuine as well you know um there are just so many like you say young women but also you know men women young older like just so many people that are there to support and just love love the show and love the queens um but yeah obviously while we're on the ship the wi-fi isn't too good <laughs> um to so try and to stay connected you know, with the Queen um, was difficult, but you know, as soon as we, when we used to get off the ship, we'd be like, right, free Wi Fi, coffee, and we get all our posts out, read everything that everyone said, um, and try and like answer anything and speak to people. Um, and it would be always like, I remember posting um, my first sort of like photo to say that I'd had my debut, and I like logged into the internet, posted it quick, and then logged out. Um, and then got off the ship the next day and like was just so overwhelmed by the, the support um, from from everyone really it was it's really really humbling um knowing that there are just you know people that support you and they're just so yeah, nice so well and have you seen the show since you left the cruise like in any form no um as soon as so the the day that I left, um, I flew back on the Saturday, and we went into lockdown. It wasn't that long. It was a week. Oh gosh, really? But, yes, but the the day that I flew back on the Saturday, they were stopping flights to the UK on the Monday. So I just wow, wow yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, I would yeah, but other no, I've not I've not um not had a chance. Been able to see it. <laughs> Are you going to find it weird, do you think, if you see it, say, on tour or, like, in the West End, you'd be like, I know the routines. I oh, know, I don't think, do you know, how hard would it be to just sit there and not join in? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'd actually, we'd, um, we'd planned a few of us uh, to go and see it at the Belgrade in Coventry, because I'm, so I'm from Midlands, um, and a lot of my friends really want to see it, so I said, like, you know, and it was meant to, it was meant to come, um, come here. So fingers crossed if it gets up and running. Like I just, yeah. I just said to all of my like friends, like please go and. See. It's just such an empowering. I think it just make I, like it just makes you feel so wonderful. Um, so it's something that I really want to take my friends to. Yeah, I just booked tickets for my family, including my step, like teenage stepdaughter, who like loves the soundtrack but had never seen it. Um, so yeah, everyone got tickets for Christmas, and obviously like it's been postponed, but it is. 
um we're going to Bromley but it is happening I think in 2021 so we're like it's worth the wait it's fine it is, it is so, so worth it oh, I know. Yeah. I've been telling like my husband and like my stepdaughter about it because I've seen it a couple of times saw it in Edinburgh then at the arts and I've been like raving about it since then so I'm, I'm like you need to see it so I can like rave with you about with it you. not at you <laughs> that's what I'm like with my family like when they you know they ask me about it I'm like I don't know how to put it in words you just need to see it yeah. <laughs> and then we can just enjoy it together um it's oh it's amazing and you guys did a video during lockdown which was awesome how did that come about that that was um it was actually the wonderful um Grace uh she sort of think you know pen the idea um so her and danielle sort of led it and they just basically reached out to all of the queens all over um and said you know we'd love to do this um you know would you like to get involved sort of thing and we we're all like yeah yeah who's gonna say no <laughs> i don't think we quite expected how how big it was going to be i think it was when it finally came out it was just it was just amazing like you've even got the original um queens oh, I love it. Yeah. and then the original edinburgh fringe queens um renee with her little riff it's just it was just brilliant it really really was i think it was really feel good i think it was kind of everyone needed it at that time in particular yeah. like and yeah just yeah loved it when it came out I think anything that just puts a little smile on your face for 10 minutes during the yeah. uh, lazy time is, definitely. yeah, definitely needed. So, so do you yeah. get, did you get to keep any of the costume or your shoes, anything like that? I don't have my costume, but I do have my weave. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Go and get it, look. So let me keep it. This, ladies and gentlemen, needs a brush like. <laughs> it's the iconic K Howard pony. Amazing. Tail. Love it. So, yeah, just put it on when you're sitting down. Yeah, exactly. Whenever I feel like I just need a little um little queen, queen in your life. Queen in my life. <laughs> just whack my pony on and feel like my husband. Um but no, what did we any anything else? A load of us we kept um the confetti, you know the, oh, yeah. the confetti explodes. Um we kept some of that but no we weren't allowed our costumes oh the costumes are amazing they're so beautifully designed oh they are do you know what it's like just when you think they can't get better they just she keeps on bringing out new designs and yeah. they are oh, they are just incredible i don't know if you've seen any of the broadway yeah they're really cool the key, love, yeah there's like there's some really good things. um fan accounts i think on instagram that kind of just show all the like costume developments yeah. and things like that well oh, it's interesting <laughs> so like, shout yeah, out to those like, fan accounts i love them yeah they'll have like i i always get tagged in um like the teal um swing sort of and they've done like a compilation of the of all the girls that have done the teal teal's a lovely color as well they're just they're unbelievable like when you the, that fit the feeling you get when you first put them on oh my gosh like, someone's asked on a scale of one to a hundred how sweaty were you in the costumes 120 <laughs> is that, is that... oh my gosh so i for the um for the howard when i put i mean when i put it on i was just standing there and i was sweating i hadn't even started seeing <laughs> But it's got like under the, un obviously underneath the, the main top bit, I had, so first I had two, so I had a pair of tights and then you've got the black fishnets. Then I had um, some pants that had the mic pack on, uh, which obviously the mic went into. Then I had the leotard that went up and then I had the, um, the blue spank pants that were like the shiny blue ones that go over the top. Then the top on top, and then the skirt. It was, it was a sweat fest. I'm Just not a few <laughs> It was a sweaty affair. Um, and Hannah, our wardrobe supervisor, like what a trooper. She'd be there with the vodka spray, spraying them, <laughs> down, washing them after the shows. Oh, um, yeah, they were, and under the the heat as well. Yeah, <laughs> but it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, amazing. Um, so have you got, what have you got planned in lockdown? Have you been doing many classes? Have you been kind of doing workshops or 
what have you been up to? Yeah, so I've, I've done I've done some classes um, just to sort of like try and keep, you know, everything going. Um, but my main thing at the moment is it's sort of giving me time because I like to write. So I've managed okay. to sort of like keep myself a little bit active. Um, yeah. Writing, keeping myself creative, but yeah, just trying to, you know, keep yourself going through all of this it's quite easy to just sort of you know let it let it go yeah. you've just got to really try and keep yourself pushing through I think um, until yeah. we can finally do it for real again yeah. oh, hopefully yeah. fingers crossed not too long so it's safe as well fingers crossed oh, well thank you so much for chatting to me and for showing me your weave <laughs> 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 amazing but yeah thank you so much i had a really lovely time talking to you um thank you so yeah, much stay safe in lockdown and yeah look after yourself and you and you and anyone that's um watching this look after yourself yes stay positive stay safe and yeah have fun be a queen <laughs> indeed i will talk to you soon take care thank, thank you so much. bye bye, bye.